People, welcome back to Yard and Abroad TV. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you're not familiar with this channel, we talk about issues in Jamaica, the Caribbean, and the whole world, people. Welcome back to my channel people much love and appreciation and thank you guys once again for tuning in as usual so today people news coming out of Trinidad West Moorings woman charged with fraud granted $300,000 bail it goes on to say Khadija Ali a 59 year old woman from West Moorings was granted bail when she appeared before a justice of the peace charged with two counts of fraud and one larceny. Ali was charged with fraudulent conversion amounting to $284,300 and larceny in the sums of $80,000 TNT dollars and US $2,500 when she appeared before the JP. She was granted bail in the sum of $300,000 to cover all three charges and the matter postponed to April 5th, 2021, where she would appear virtually before a Port of Spain magistrate. According to police reports, during the period May 9th, 2019 and December 12th, 2019, the accused was allegedly paid money totaling $284,300 from two victims who were made to believe that she could convert the money into U.S. currency. What? <laughs> what? Oh man, people, y'all have to be, I don't know, you have to be more smarter nowadays um when it comes to money and trusting people so openly and freely it goes on to say efforts by the victims to obtain the u.s currency or refunds prove futile it was later discovered that the accused reportedly used the funds for her own use and benefit also between the period august 17 2018 and august 22 2018 a victim allegedly paid the accused a total of eighty thousand dollars after she led him to believe that she was employed in the judiciary and was in a position to obtain bail on behalf of his daughter when the accused failed to deliver on her promise the victim discovered she was never in a position to access bail and efforts to obtain a refund of the money from the accused proved futile lord people uh, 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 yep. As Mr. People, you can't just freely give your money, especially that much. I think you rather give, like, give all like something to see, uh, okay, can they do that? Can they really do that? But if you take up a lump sum and just give them like that, you never know what the outcome is going to be. Is it me, people? And I mean, hate people who just go around and try to use and um, take people's hard working money, hard earn money people like you know what people have to do to make ends meet nowadays and just to go around and try scam and do fraudulent things to people it's just very very sad and disgusting is it people it's just very disgusting so i'm going to read you a few comments on what people are saying about this someone said don't blame covid or the government that's just greedy if it was just a few hundred we could say it was for food don't get fooled let common sense prevail another person goes on to say blasted pests and them eh? they're coming in all kind of disguises lost the tail in jail another person goes on to say look at that face can't y'all see she's upset by her own actions i'm sure she wants to do the right thing somebody goes on to say you living in a big shot area and doing these things you all just want to get rich off poor people shaking my head god don't sleep another person goes on to say who in their right mind giving money to someone looking like a professional con woman trini's love underhand thing eh? hope they get back their money and you know i truly hope they do get back their money because to lose that much amount of money you know people um it's unless them have more weight came from but that does not justify what this woman did to them and a thief and scam their money now a person goes on to say very sad but the stress of covid causing poor people to 
do things they will not do under normal conditions. The other person goes on to say, this lady is vile. I wonder what kind of jail time these heinous crimes carry. She should get the full book thrown at her. And that's not like people. If you do the crime, you have to do the time. You see me? And that's my motto. You can't go out there and do um, criminal activities and don't expect to face the consequences of your actions, people. You have to know what you're doing before you do it. You see me? Another person said, this took me by surprise, not by what she allegedly did, but that she was held. He goes on to say, if you knew the level of connections people in various religious organizations have, they believe they are untouchable and mostly are. Mm, interesting people, very, very interesting. And people, I did my research on Westmoreland's people and it is known to be like where the upscale uptown people them um live and uh nice big houses um correct me if i'm wrong people but uh for some reason every time you hear a place named west this west that it's always end up being like you know high class um upscale and rich people people who have money but look at this lady look at this lady people as the one man said uh, these rich people are always a look at poor people and i try to get money from them and i scam poor people for their money because they want to stay rich people you see me and it's very very sad and that's why them need to prosecute this woman to the fullest and reading this article people like it just came to an abrupt end and i was you know i was wondering why i was curious and why the article just end like that you see me this one young lady said normally y'all post way more details than this where's the full government name and alias plus age address occupation etc if she was charged, that mean you should have more information. Next bias post, please. <laughs> yeah, the article was kind of very, very short, people. I'm not gonna lie, it was very, very short. Another person goes on to say, see the damn face looking like the woman from the cartoon Tangled. What really wrong with these people these days? Another person goes on to say, when you catch some Americans being scammed, you tell yourself, not with a trini. But these days, all of you letting me down. You know how many reports made against her and they did nothing for over 10 years? She deserved jail time a long, long time ago. And that's crazy, people, if that's actually true. Another person in the comments said, for me, 20 years, I was waiting to see this happen to her. Wow. So I guess this lady been known for this or been doing this, but because um she's of upper class and upscale like i guess them have the money if you buy out them without things and it's just sad enough people as me say in every country you have different forms of criminals people and this is just one of them and if she's been doing it for years and nobody not do nothing that's just a very very sad situation very very sad people all right but once again people thank you guys for tuning into my channel if i get more details on this case i will keep you guys updated um it was very very short um story but i tried to give you guys as much information as i find all right bless up in yourself much love and appreciation from yard and abroad tv bless up one love